And I do believe that we have rock, rock, rock kicks. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. You've got a situation where once you, if you really take this out to people and say to them, look, just look at the data, it's clear, you know, vaccination works, the absence of vaccination, your failure to get vaccinated doesn't just put you at risk. I think this is what is important. In a way, if this were just a personal decision for people and you get vaccinated, you don't get vaccinated, it's you who suffers if you don't, but it's not you who suffers if you don't simply, it's also other people. And there are people who are unvaccinated. They come into contact with people, even those who are vaccinated now, they can still transmit the disease. And if those people have got a serious underlying condition, they can actually die as a result of that. So I think, you know, I understand people's objections, but at some point you've got to say to people, look, the evidence, not just from Britain, but around the world is crystal clear. There's, not, there's, there's no serious person disputing it. And to get vaccinated is, is actually part of your, it's, it's almost part of your civic duty. This whole argument reminds me of something going back for some years. This is ID cards by the back door, isn't it? Look. I was then, I remain even more convinced today, particularly with biometric technology, the world will move to biometric ID and they'll do it because in the end it's better for people. It's not about, look, the, the amount of information government's going to have on you is going to be minimal compared with what your local supermarket has on you. So